Hi friends, welcome back once again to the new tutorial series. In this tutorial series, I am going to discuss you about how to do a photorealistic rendering using Blender. Guys, we all are heard about photorealistic rendering. Actually, what is that? The rendered output should be look like a photo which taken by a camera. In this tutorial series, I am going to discuss you about the cool technique which I used for photorealistic rendering using Blender. And I will also discuss you about the lightning, rendering settings and finally creating atmospheric particle using Blender particle system. Guys, you are watching tutorials from Adari CG Tutorials on YouTube. For more latest updates, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Now let's get started. Here we are on Blender. I am using Blender 2.7 beta version. Come on the viewport. First delete the box and the light, also the camera. We don't need the camera and light now. We will put it later. Create a plane and scale it along with X and Y direction. Come on the top angle view. We need to scale it along X direction. We don't need a square shape. Simply make it as a rectangular shape like this. Yeah, it is okay. This will be our ground. Now we can start adding object to the scene. First, we gonna import our tree bar model. Come to the file, import obj. Here we can see two files. One is our bark object, another is the mtl file. That is the material file. It contains the all material information such as the texture coordinates and the values which we applied for the textures. Okay, just import it. Yeah, it comes. Come to the side view. Rotate it by 90 degree. And place to this corner. And move this object to another layer. Select the both layer. In this scene, we need two bugs. You can see in the image. Take a look here. We are using two different kind of bugs. Now we need to import the second one. Follow the same procedure for importing. Yeah, here comes the second bug. This is little bit complex than the first one. Okay, whatever it may be. Come to the side view. Rotate it by 90 degree and place somewhere here on the foreground. And rotate it little bit. And move this object to another layer. I was created these two objects using speed tree modeler. You can use that or else just search on the Google. You will get number of similar bark objects. Now we can import our flower object to the scene. Follow the same procedure for importing. Yeah, here is it. Oh, it is too large. We need to scale it down something like this and rotate it a little bit and position the tail over the ground. Scale it a little bit more. Yeah, this much is okay. For this scene, I am using Plumeria flower. This was I created using 3ds Max. First we need to texture the flower. Before doing that set the rendering engine as cycles. Use nodes make the viewport as composite. Click here on the materials. Yeah here appears our nodes. And place an image texture node. Connect it to the color of the diffuse node. Choose our image texture. Change the viewport shading as textured. Yeah, we applied the image texture. Just have a look. Back to the default view. The next thing we want to do is to group all these elements together. 
for that select all this separate element and group it and move it to another layer drag it down towards our ground now we want to scatter the flower object over the ground for that we can use blender particle system for scattering these objects but here we are not doing that just simply copy the objects many times and position it randomly let's do that copy it many times over the ground with a random position this much number is okay next we want to make some random rotation for the flower simply do that by rotation tool make something realistic positions come to the side view and select all these flower object and place it down to the ground we leave one here just place it down next we want to add the camera to the scene just add a camera and bring into the front angle and come to the camera view we need some adjustment here tilt the camera a little bit okay tilt up a little bit this position is okay and next bring this bar to the camera let's change the resolution we need a custom size for the render here i am putting something like 5760 and 2286 yeah this will be our render region and once again tilt down the camera we need to expand the size of the ground just select that and expand it a little bit along the y-axis and position it a little bit towards the camera okay again play with this part bring it a little bit towards the camera this part also yeah this is okay next we want to scale this flower a little bit large for that select all these flowers and scale it a little bit like this and just have a look yeah and also we need to arrange the position of this flower once again just have a look okay we need to delete some flowers from here okay just have a look yeah this looks better the next thing we want to do is add some grasses to the scene for that import the grass object repeat the same procedure for importing yeah here is our grass object imported it is too large reduce the size by scaling down okay something like this come to the camera view take a look now we want to scatter this grass over the ground copy it many times take a look this much is okay here you can see the grasses appearing here are same in size we want to reduce the grass size randomly let's do that select these two grasses reduce the size and do the same for other grass objects okay 
just place all these grasses little bit more down okay now we need to place the background for this scene add one more plane here scale it up and make the same size as our ground okay the size is almost same come to the side view rotate it by 90 degree and place it at the back side and make the position very close to our ground just have a look once more scale it down along the z axis and place it down yeah we are almost ready with our scene the remaining few things like texturing the bark and the ground placing the light and finally the render technique we will discuss in our next part here i am wind up in this part guys you are watching videos from adari cg tutorials on youtube for more tutorial don't forget to subscribe my channel stay tuned for next part thanks for watching bye for now